So what's everybody been up to? Everybody been up to? <laughs> everybody been up to? Rob Slob working. Parenthood. On Bob's <laughs> Cobb. <laughs> Cobb. Parenthood. That's a practical joke. Yes. <laughs> I get jokes. That's, that HBO Plus is worth it just because of all that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's all... Because you had like season one on Netflix and then some seasons on Hulu. Yeah, they just catch them on True TV on, when you get a yeah. chance. Like, like almost when it's not Tacoma FD, you can see it on there. Yeah. But. I finished the Walking Dead comic series. Oh. The Compendium for... It's a TV show? Oh. No. Hmm? Or a comic. It was a comic, comic that's... Yeah, that... that... Yeah. yeah. Wait, it was, wait, it was what very is it, good. A TV show? Well, it's, it's a comic. Okay. But Book. they made a TV show out of the comic. Yes. Yeah. So it's not okay. Got it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's same characters, but it the totally TV different storyline. Yeah, yeah, the TV show completely veered off track from like season two. Actually, yeah, yeah, not even that. It was. I like, mean, the the whole purpose of the television show was the eventual <laughs> insanity of the son, and they didn't even bother making that part of the storyline. Yeah. The show. Yeah. It's really weird because I don't even know what they're gonna how they're gonna end this because in the it's comic, stupid. yeah, in the comic, like it's all about the kid and yeah. he's gone. He's off yes. the show now. Yes, I mean obviously <laughs> they're just gonna use the other kid, I assume. But I, I don't. Yeah. That's the whole thing. I stopped watching. Let's see. I stopped watching the show when they finally when Rick and the and Negan finally had their throwdown, which was just so fucking ridiculous. I mean, it, that was the dumbest. I would just watch that. And then, like, he slits his throat. And, of course, in this, you know, time frame with no doctors or hospitals or whatever, you <laughs> know, doctor? it's just a slight nick to the jugular, you know. And, you know, then they managed to stitch that up real fast and quick, and he survives. And well, is, that like, actually walking did follow around. the comic book. Huh? That actually did, that actually exactly. did follow the comic book. Exactly. And so. that, I mean, I'm like, oh, thank God, I st- the comic book I stopped watching right after... Uh, the kid got half of his head blown off. <laughs> that was awesome. I was yeah. just like, Yer! and then I started watching the show. And of course, the very first episode, or I don't know if it was the ep- first episode, but the fucking horse, man. Oh. The horse, man. That was just like, holy shit, the horse. Yeah. But, you know, the, the beginning, that's the whole thing. That the, the series was incredible. And then it really should have stopped. Like, I still enjoy eight it, seasons I'm ago. Into it, so. Yeah. Mm. If, if you're into it, then I'm a super more power to you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I pieced out on the comic book, you know. I pieced out on the comic book before the the series, and then the series. I was like, you know, I yeah. I can't do this to myself. I get it. a lot of people do. Uh, it's not nearly as popular as it was yes. like, five years ago. Yes, so. I mean, and, and I don't even understand. Like, it looks like there's besides Carol and Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's not even in the comic either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. One of the main characters of the entire show was never in the. Comic. Yeah. Well, one way or another, fuck the show. Let's talk about metal. <laughs> wow, thank you. You should do that. And Joe's like, come on, man. Well, what the, <laughs> what what the hell is this about? show about anyway? What are you drinking, Keith? It looks fruity. Um, It's club soda with a uh, splash of uh, bitters. It's not Fanta? Mm-mm. Like a Shirley Temple. <laughs> it's kind of like a Shirley Temple, only... You <laughs> no know. grenadine. Yeah, it's not sweet. It's more of got the uh, alcohol... I mean, bitters Wait, is alcohol, but it's... Is nobody wearing a metal shirt tonight? Fanta's metal, <laughs> motherfucker. No, I'm wearing Star Wars. Star Wars. They got Army of Darkness. Nice. Huh. Well, this is weird. It this was, was never added. This was not discussed. Well, we got metal behind oh. us. <clears throat> yeah. It's fine. Just metal behind me? There you go. I've got I metal albums next to me. <laughs> You're gonna love it. When did you first fall in love with metal? I went to this record store, and I was going to get the new Journey album, and there was like an older kid there, and he's like, don't get that, man, get this. And he gave me the Ozzy Osbourne Blizzard of Oz. Where else can these kids go where they come somewhere and they all feel a sense of, you know, this is our thing, you know? Let me tell you something about Slayer fans. They look like the extras from Lord of the Rings. They came out of nowhere under the ground. 
the, yeah. the passion and the darkness, the evil of the music. You know what marriage is like? Marriage is like, you ever go to a concert and you see a mosh pit, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go get that mosh pit. But then once you get in it, you're like, I do not want to be in this mosh pit. Who'd win in a wrestling match, Lemmy or God? Lemmy. Ah, God. Wrong, dickhead. Trick question. Lemmy is God. All righty. Welcome Lemmy back to God. Somewhere in Time podcast, everybody. Uh, SomewhereInTimePodcast.com is where you find us online. Get to all our goodies there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. So, so um, I'm Eric. We have Tim here. Yo. Say hello. Joe's here. I'm Joe. <laughs> and Keith is here. Yes. So, yes. Excellent. So this episode, um, we're sticking with 1980, and we are going to talk about Van Halen, Women and Children First. Play a little of this. It's quiet. Yeah. Better? Yeah. Got to turn it up. All right, so what instrument is that in the beginning there? I feel like it's keyboards. Yeah, it's not guitar. I didn't know that. You know how I knew that? <laughs> I was no. listening to... Uh, yeah, I thought it was guitar. But I was listening to Michael Ant- uh, Michael Anthony, like a ec- excerpt of an interview with him on Ozzy's Boneyard. Oh, okay. And I didn't know what he was referring to, but then they played that song right afterwards. And I... Yeah, I mean, when you, it's funny because you, I've, I've always thought that was guitar, but when you hear it's not, it's so it's actually a, a phase shifter affected Wurlitzer electric piano. Yeah, that's um, what I thought. Played through a 1960s <laughs> oh, yeah. model. <laughs> yeah. Of course. But anyway, when you hear that it's guitar. that. So this next ministry track was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you hear it's that and then you go back and look, you're like, oh yeah, I can totally hear it's keyboard. Play it again. All I right. still don't think it's keyboard, but I believe them. They're lying, man. They're lying. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what, what's funny about it is I, I never really thought Van Halen got into the keyboard stuff until around like 1984, you know? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Like that was heavily, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Wait, but, in, the, uh, in the mid eighties? Oh, really? Wait, you're yeah. telling me John plus keyboards too? Come on. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. So uh Roddy the band. Bottom. So I should I should say, we are we are doing this partly because obviously uh Eddie Van Halen just passed away. Uh rest in peace. Sixty five years old, mm-hmm. way too young. Yeah. Um yeah. throat cancer, which he battled with tongue cancer in 2000 and yeah. remove half his or a quarter of his tongue Jeez. um because of it um and then it, i guess he beat that but i guess it, it it came back um and uh yeah unfortunately he battled it for about a year and then passed away which i mean we don't you don't need to us you know for <laughs> goofballs. 40 something goofballs yeah. telling you how good of a guitar player eddie van halen is but no um he was fucking really good. <laughs> I, I mean, that's the one thing. Like, I, I would kind of expected that we'd grab Greg in for this episode because he seems to be the a little bit, yeah, yeah, the most uh, diddly 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 of of, of all the uh, of our guests. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, that's one thing. I mean, I I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, Eddie Van Halen. He flat out changed how the approach to the instrument and how yeah people play it, and it's a a great loss well, to the world. But yeah, we all gotta go. Dime is my favorite guitar player, but there'd be no dime mm-hmm. without Eddie Van Halen. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, and you There's listen a to all cat on the back of your chair, Eric. 
<laughs> yeah. Yellow. Yellow. What the fuck, man? She How does that. <laughs> <laughs> she just likes to hang out. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, I moved. Good. I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> She's alive. Don't worry. There's one yeah, down I mean, here, too, but you can't see it. Yeah. It. Her. <laughs> so, I think, if you know, if you're going to say one word, if, you know, if you were to ask me what word, one word would you use to describe Eddie Van Halen, probably flawless or perfect. I mean, I've not heard a single live clip of him where he fucks up. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. The guy was unbelievable. Um, and I, you know, I'm not even gonna pretend I can do half the shit he does on guitar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, and I even like researching for this episode. I learned some things I didn't even know on guitar. Like, um, I didn't know about um, tap harmonics. Like, obviously, you know what finger tapping is, but mm-hmm. there's a way to like hit a note on the guitar and then find the like eleven frets down and hit that, and it makes a, a like a harmonic if you tap it. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> But if you listen to the album, there's moments where you're like, oh, yeah, that's what he's doing there. It's really cool. And obviously, he was a huge influence on oh my God. so many different guitar players. So many. I mean, hard rock. I mean, that's the one thing when it comes to Van Halen as a band. I mean, I, I, I would honestly say, you know, just like we discussed, you know, in previous episode, you know, when it comes to Ozzy Osbourne or Black Sabbath, you know, you knew – you know, who Ozzy was as a, as a staple of the industry, just as, you know, kind of heavy metal, like the, the, the face of heavy metal. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes to Van Halen, I don't think any other band epitomized, you know, heavy, hard guitar rock of the 80s. And it sucks that, you know, let's face it, there was, you know, that was 50-50 split between Eddie and David Lee Roth, you know, and, and, you know, a lot of people like my friend, uh, Jimmy Vengeance, he was commenting how this band broke up and, and when, when did, uh, when did they, when did Roth leave? 86, 85, yes. whenever it was, it's just like that. Yeah. That's when the band broke up and he refuses <laughs> to admit any of the rest of it is Van Halen, but, uh, which, well, you know, I, I get what he's saying, but one way or another, you know, let's face it, you know, when it comes to the, the effect that this guy had on the instrument itself, on the industry, whether it be just, you know, heavy metal or hard rock, I would say, you, I mean, just with the album we're going to be talking about tonight, I mean, let's face it, blah, surprise, there's so much blues in here, it's, it's yeah. ridiculous. Uh, I mean, let's face it, that's what rock all started with, but one way or another, I, I think that this guy's influence has just overridden, you know, into fucking country and uh, everything else. At this point, yeah. So. Well, he's an, he's an inventor, too. Who else can you, what other guitar player can you say has a patent on <laughs> things with a guitar like yeah he literally invented things for the guitar you know so I've, I've heard stories about him when he was doing the finger tapping stuff he'd come out and play play a show and he turned his back on the audience so they wouldn't see what he was doing so they couldn't copy him <laughs> 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 but you know what's funny is you know obviously pantera dimebag is famous for those squeals like those yeah. high pitch harmonics that Van Halen, it's all over the place. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't really even notice it, I guess, because, you know, you just listen to Eddie and you're like, well, yeah, it's Eddie Van Halen. He's going to do some crazy shit. But listening with a, a closer ear this time to these albums, like I went and listened to a lot of the, the early Van Halen after he died, and it's all over the place. Like, God, Dime's influence is like, <laughs> or, you know, Eddie's influence on Dime is so clear on, on all those albums. So I don't think, with the four of us, we weren't, the biggest Van Halen fans. I don't feel no. I, I was never. I, that's the for me. I couldn't stand Van Halen, Van Halen <laughs> because I mean, every single time you think about Van Halen, you just think about David Lee Roth pulling mm-hmm. up his his uh, spandex like suspenders, <laughs> like yeah. and it's like yeah. fuck you, sit yeah. down, shut up, and just you know. I mean, obviously he's a performer, and there's an element of hard rock that you know that's great for, but so much of his shadow, I think, really kind of stood in the way of this band getting the respect that they could. And then when they got rid of him, I would say the Hagar wasn't as good as... The Hagar stuff wasn't as good as... I never as got into the Hagar it's, stuff. It's not as good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we uh, we distance ourselves from them, I think, because of the the party thing. They're just like yep. this party band, and they're yeah. fun, and we were getting into more thrash stuff, and we sort mm-hmm. of... Like, when this album came out, I it was it was already out when I was, when I was getting into metal, but I liked it a lot when I first heard it because I was just getting into this stuff. And I was like, oh, this right. is a good album. I like it. And then, you know, you start hearing, hearing Metallica, you hear Maiden, and you're like, 
oh, uh, Van Halen's kind of yeah, uh, it's like, rock. It, it's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. And you're like, I'm not. This isn't what I, this isn't what I'm looking for. And you just I, sort of put it away, and that's it. And you're like, well, eh. Yeah, I would say we might even be talking about that again later in this episode because you know there's so much of this stuff. It's it just doesn't use distortion like what we heard at the end of this decade. You know, of course, this album also came out in '80, so yeah, 80. it was the, it was a precursor to so much shit that followed. Well, the and I wanted to hold off on some of this because I, I knew we wanted to be effusive in our praise of Eddie Van Halen and everything, but we're already kind of going off on this uh, <laughs> David Lee Roth. And and you can't you can't talk about him and not talk about Sammy Hagar, right? But um, I kind of what I think Tim you were saying is we we never were like huge in our growing up never big uh, Van Halen people. I don't think. Yeah, no, that was that wasn't one of our bands. Yeah, I, so, I I would say I avoided them <laughs> when but I was it, ten. They were <laughs> well, yeah. Very they early had, on, they had, they had songs that I really liked as a kid. You know, yeah, um, yeah. But I love Jump when I came, like when I first heard it. Panama, yeah, yeah. Panama. The, my uh, wife, my like wife hates songs. Panama. <laughs> that's like the worst. Songs. Songs. I still like 1984. I think that that's a great album. So, so they they didn't like you were saying they were like the party bands. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, I noticed on this album, as much as all the music, I really like the the whole album musically. There's something about David Lee Roth. He's just like I don't know if he's like, he's just fucking weird. Like yeah, yeah. He, well, he's a maniac. Guy, like, does he have to say those stupid comments in a, on the album uh, about, about the the high heels? Oh, that's and, so gross. That makes you of, wonder. There's, like, there's, there's like this know. pervert vibe. Yeah, to him it's that so just, super yeah. pervy. Oh yeah, super, big. super pervy. And I mean, it, he is it, weird. I mean, if you yeah. if you saw interviews with him when their last album came out, and was that 2015? I think or 2013 or something. Anyway, he's a weird dude. Like even just live now or, or five years ago he was super weird too so yeah, I don't, think he's just put, a weird don't, guy. don't talk about your sex fetishes on your albums man yeah <laughs> it's gonna be hard oh I, Led that, that, <laughs> I know they ventured into well, it a little bit but but it wasn't as prominent like no i no. think lemon song was the worst <laughs> yeah thing that uh that's Jay what i was Page, thinking or uh, robert plant did but yeah. um yeah like he's just Kind of weird. Look at Junior's grades, or have you seen Junior's grades? Like, don't say stuff like that in the song, man. <laughs> I don't know. A little more I to the right. Obvious, yeah. Obviously, a lot mm. of people liked him. And they like him better. I think. I don't think he's. The, I don't think he's a great singer. I, I mean, think. I, know he's I a, think he's Hagar's a good technically man, but, a better singer. Yeah, you know? definitely. But, yeah. But I think I don't know. I, I when it comes to a front man, I mean, who else? But it, but then again, you look at like if Anthrax people would not like some people on this podcast will not listen to John Bush <laughs> Anthrax. You know, you just sure. you have the singer you like, and then, yeah. then if the band changes the singer, it's like it's the most um, obvious big change a band can make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that so was, is that is that everybody yeah. wants some? Because we could play a little bit of that. Yeah. The, the weird creepy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a couple of things I want to talk about with that song anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like South Park. The shoe store, probably, you like fucking the idiot. <laughs> I like the way the line runs up the back of the stockings. The stockings. Uh, stockings. Uh, mm. I've always liked those kind of high heels, too. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't take them off. Don't take them off. <laughs> God. That's such a heavy riff minded, too. I know. Yeah, that's it. A little more to the right. <laughs> My question about that was, uh, when he first comes in, I think it was a mistake, and they left it in. Because you, yeah, he goes. He starts and stops. Yeah, yeah. I like the way the line runs. Yeah, he's like, I like, and then they do the riff, and it's like, oh shit. Yeah, they left it in. Screw it. Yeah, I do think the bass is really cool in that song, though. And yeah, the, the song Joe, the song's great. Other than that stupid, yeah. creepy stuff. Well, I meant to ask both bass players actually, because I, 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 am correct me if I'm wrong, say, Joe. I have I have something to say about the bass on this. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask you because I, I feel like forever you were like Michael Anthony, fuck that guy. <laughs> no, no, no. I I didn't really have an opinion. I thought that was you guys. You uh, no, was, I like the worst bass player ever. No, I no, I don't think, think he's a bad bass player at all. Mm. But um, I think he was a guitar player originally. 
if I, if I remember correctly. He was a bassist and lead singer of another band. Yeah, I his. He, I thought he started playing bass because he was in a band that needed a. I don't know if he was. I don't mean in, in Van Halen. But I think, I think he was originally a guitar player. No, his his to bass. backing vocals were a big part of them live. Um, like he was but, a yeah, huge part of that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna address the bass sound on this album. It sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it I, I wrote sounds, that down too. It's it so sounds poopy. like it's not even plugged in. I know. <laughs> it sounds so, poopy. <laughs> it is. It's flat and yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I don't know why they went with it. It's very prominent in the mix, and it just sounds like garbage. Yeah, it's just too bad because I think he's got cool bass lines going on in mm-hmm. most of the album. Yep. Yeah. So, well, I believe me, I like the album, but I just gave you two big things that I didn't like about the album. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got them out of the way anyway. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But I, I mean, it's a great album. I, I hadn't, I'd heard most of the song. Well, I, was shame, I shouldn't say most, but I heard a lot of the songs before, but this is the first time I've listened to it all the way through. And uh, it's, it's a good, it, it's, there's no, there's nothing that I am even considering skipping when I listen to it. No, like, no. Except it's for that good. little interlude we just played. With, well, it's short. But you, you can't really skip that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I like every song on the album. Um, there's a, uh, Excuse me. There's a a couple that are like, eh, but yeah. they're not they're not bad. They're just you know kind of there. Uh, let's see. Uh, tour tour loss loss of control. I was I had not heard that before. Really? I thought you know Fucking it's funny so good, when I, when tour tour came on. You know we've been not to spoil anything here, but we've been listening to a lot of Sabbath lately. I thought my my Spotify switched to Sabbath for some reason. <laughs> Because the way it starts is like, yeah. this is, this is sad. Yeah, what, what's going yeah. on here? Yeah, I know. I'll play a little yeah, bit. <laughs> it's very Sabbathy when it kicks in. When it kicks in. Yeah. Black Sabbath. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's Black Sabbath. Yeah. Maybe not. I think at that point Maybe I knew. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think Lost, Lost of Control was one of the songs uh, when we first heard this album, or you know, when we were listening to him back in the day, where I didn't really like it, but I liked it now. Like, I yeah. Think the, I think the the chorus bugged me when we were younger. The, the Lost Control, Lost Control. Yeah, that's. I was that thinking the same is, thing. That's, I don't know. I haven't learned that riff on guitar, but it sounds pretty fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, it's really... That's heavy. It's I mean, heavy there, but, but then it gets... Yeah. It gets back in the village Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a really good guitar tone. Yes. I mean, unbelievable for when this stuff came out. Yeah. Yeah, this album does sound like it's produced way... More uh, the, ahead of its time, yeah, by, by yeah, leaps yeah. and bounds. Yeah. Who did produce the album? We didn't even <clears throat> yeah, go sorry. through that stuff. Ted <laughs> Templeman, <laughs> yes, Ted Templeman. Yeah, that's. I didn't say the band members, but I think well, you should know them, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, how? Oh, if you don't know, <laughs> <laughs> who was their drummer again? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask. You'll never know. Alan Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang is the. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang is not on this album. <laughs> <laughs> He was not even a thought. Yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he didn't exist yet. No, it's a short album. It's only thirty-three minutes. Yeah, now. yeah. Um, but yeah, again, I, there's no song. Like, I think I have to recant here for a second. I, I don't. I said there's some some songs that are just there. I, I like every song. There's not yeah, a song yeah. that I would skip. Yeah, every song is yeah. I, I was I, I you know I, tripping over my tongue here for a second but i would honestly <laughs> say i was caught a little off guard because you know i never got into van halen just because of the, the spandex and makeup and god-awful bullshit of the mid 80s i never even thought to go back this far into their early stuff and holy crap i loved hanging out listening and rocking out to this album you know yeah this has been uh, i mean i, I the, my brother had diver down so that was like my first real introduction he picked that one up which i don't know if Is you that, guys are familiar with the- it Next one, right? mm, yeah, uh, it's something that like that. It is fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. There are weird. elements yeah. of that that are just like, uh, okay, drugs. 
<laughs> that would yeah. be and that would like be three, some drugs. There's yeah. like three cover songs on the album too. Yeah, yeah that's, some, isn't the first song a cover song? Yeah, I think so. So, but, uh, well, so that was the only thing I really knew before. Uh, my brother also had the uh, the first Hagar one, but one way or another, listening to this, it was. I mean, the the kind of the virtuosity of him is so subtle. I would say you don't even realize, like, you know, how incredible he's doing, and things even seem with the with the production, things seem to be kind of leveled perfectly, where you know nothing is overshadowing each other. I really enjoyed this album. Well, if you Did look you, at, if, sorry, go ahead, Joe. I was going to ask if Keith, if you've heard their uh, Van Halen too. I, I mean, that's one. I'm sure. I've, I'm sure I've heard songs off of it. Um, oh yeah, but yeah. But there's no way I, I picked that up. Heard. I picked that record up a couple of years ago for like six bucks somewhere, and I used to play it, and I was like, "This is a really fucking good album." Yeah, it is. Like, <laughs> they're for, I guess we could save their their first three for sure. Or, I think they're all the David Lee Roth stuff is good except Fair Warning is the only one. I mean, no, I'm sorry, Diver Down, Diver Down is the only one that's kind of weird. Yeah, Fair Warning is really good. Yeah, Fair Warning is great. Yeah, um, Fair Warning has Unchained on it, which is probably my favorite Van Halen song. I, I mean, yep. I'd say for this album though, I'd say uh, Everybody Wants Some is the only song that I knew that got a much play. I guess does Cradle Will Rock did that get much? Cradle Will Rock was actually their first single off this album. Yeah. Um, they played all the time on Ozzy's Bone. Yeah. All the yeah. time. I don't. I don't. But every, Everybody Wants Some is probably the most popular. Yeah. One. I think that's the one they played most live. Um, yeah, I don't even know that I knew any of the, the second half of this album at all. No, and and it's all really good. Exactly. I, I absolutely yeah. love it. Take Your Whiskey Home. Yeah, I'd have to say, love Could This home. Be Magic by, is, is my favorite tune. That's a great song. Uh, yeah. yeah. And that's the first time they used uh, uh, backing vocals from someone that was Holy shit, the, the, the backing vocals. I mean, it, it? there's nothing too much to it, but it was... It just adds so much to that song. <laughs> Edie Brickell. No. Here, it's the last chorus. It's uh, female vocals. I don't know her name. Yeah, Edie Brickell. Could this be magic? It's Nicolette Larson. And who is that? She <laughs> is dead. Okay. That's too bad. She died a long time ago. Better say if the women. Uh, I don't want to go into that. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> we're, we already got enough but death hanging over this uh, topic to begin with. So, yeah, pretty young. Um, yeah, and I would like to say that this podcast, somewhere in time, podcast is brought to you by Ozzy's Boneyard. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> Sirius XM. I think it's channel thirty-eight. <laughs> Could be 37, I don't know. Yeah, we plug them out, don't we? God. They may as well sponsor us. It's not on purpose. <laughs> well, eventually they're going to sponsor us for real. Sure. <laughs> uh, the song in a simple rhyme, uh, that last riff. Holy yeah. shit. What the hell is yeah. that? Yeah. So, <laughs> Why didn't they do more of that? I know. I was like, what's this? I was so <laughs> the story of that is it was supposed to be, it was kind of like a, an overkill thing. It was supposed to be the first riff of the next album. Oh. And they never finished writing it, so it, it just kind of dropped off. But there's a live version. Um, let's see if I can find that. Uh, we'll see if my computer lets me do this. The song is called Growth. The name of the song is actually Growth. That's hmm. a bad name. <laughs> this is from 1986. Kind of a shitty recording, but... Yeah, iPhones were shitty back in '86. So. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd sounds great. <laughs> Maybe it's not coming through. Here, Neither like, do I. <laughs> sounds like such a, it sounds like such a uh, bootleg we used to. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> pay twenty bucks like for that. that. That, yeah. that YouTube clip is two and a half minutes, so they they had a bunch of other stuff written for that song. I just okay. Finished. But yeah, I was listening to the album and it, it, it ends and then you hear that and you're like, what the fuck is this? This is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And then you get like three seconds of it and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much for their concept. <laughs> they weren't really a concept band though. No. No. We should mention yeah, that well, maybe, Alex. Maybe with Gary Sharon, wasn't that a concept? Oh, God. Oh, boy. God. It's the true, 
the true Van Halen. <laughs> Gary <laughs> True. When they reach the pinnacle, out there. the pinnacle of their existence. I'm sure there's somebody out there that thinks that's the best album. Oh, of course. <laughs> let's take there's that, always someone. Let's take a mm-hmm. band that copied us their whole career. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at their singer. Well, we should mention Alex Van Halen as well. That guy's a phenomenal. Yeah. Is, he, is he that good? I mean, I... Actually, I mean, the song we were just listening like to. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think he's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you were joking. <laughs> I mean, I, I never really listened to him that much. I mean, you know, when you, I think you that, have... I think Hot for Teacher is I was a little say, overrated, but yeah, Hot I think... For really? It's overrated? It's, I don't... I mean, I don't is know. it easy? I don't think what it's his best stuff. Hmm. I, I mean, like it's got the drum fill, the, I can't, the most famous I can't drum fill it. of their, you know... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think that... Disqualif- disqualifies me from critiquing it. I just, I guess that got a lot of drummers started, though, right? Oh yeah, I hear that all the time. Yeah, like that the beat. So I guess that's that's pretty important. Mm-hmm. I yeah. just think he's got better stuff. I think he's, I think he's awesome. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, I mean, there's he had stuff a really in... big drum set. <laughs> <laughs> it was he had a huge 80s. gong. <laughs> he did. Yeah. His gong was like seven feet tall. <laughs> How tall was that guy? He looks like he's super tall. I think he's pretty damn tall. Yeah. Because yeah. that picture of him with Metallica, he, I think he was taller than everybody. Well, Lars is what? Four foot seven? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Lars! Look tall. <laughs> now, now, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> He's shrinking. <laughs> well, they are in their 70s. Nah, no. I think it's... Let me play a little more of this song, because <laughs> I think there was some cool drum stuff at the end of this. Uh, really cool. I don't know where it is. I'll have to put it in the post, but yeah. there's some really cool drum stuff in that song, for sure. Fine, we'll put it in the post. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the Eric Josephson a big Alex Van Halen fan? Yeah. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I feel like it was, yeah. yeah. I feel like he has a similar style, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I meant to... I think he's more... He's more Van Halen... Alex Van Halen than... Um, Bottom, John Bottom. Bottom. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's yeah that that sounds right. Yeah, and if he has a problem with that, he can come back on the yeah podcast. <laughs> he can defend himself. Yes. <laughs> what say you? <laughs> does he say uh, what the fuck at the end of Everybody Wants Some? I think he does, right? I don't know. The very last part. <laughs> my children's years the usual suspect <laughs> call the PMRC <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck give me the cake and geese if I can catch like, I bought this record to listen to good music not to hear your foul language <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the only fuck on the album actually <gasps> <laughs> Obviously, none of us ever saw Van Halen with David Lee Roth live. Mm. Or Van Halen. I saw no, Van Halen, I... but I left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, with, with Sammy Hagar. So, was it Monster Rock? Yeah, Monster yeah. Rock. Yeah. I, that was the first time when I, I didn't even know that uh, Roth had left the band. But I see, like, you know, Metallica, Van Halen. It's like, and all of a sudden, this, like, guy with this huge blonde afro gets on it's like man we're gonna do stuff you never even heard and i'm like who the fuck is that and it turns out it was sammy hagar and he was advertising for van halen being a part of that which uh, it was like okay van halen's over but... <laughs> one of the reasons i appreciate sammy hagar is if i had to be like if i had to spend a weekend somewhere with one of those two guys Sammy Hagar every time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. God, he seems so much cooler. Than <laughs> He's a little more level-headed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's free not, tequila, probably. Yeah. Probably. I think he sold his shares of Cabo Wabo. Oh, <laughs> maybe? Yeah. I'm sure you'd get free something. Yeah. 
It's free Coke with... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> we pull out this eight ball. <laughs> David Lee Roth loves those squeals noises. Yeah, like, he does. Wow. He loves yeah. it. It's not good. Every, like, everybody wants some as good as I can. That. I just, I can imagine. I, I was reading about some of the turbulent times with David Lee Roth and this band and how they thought he was coming. He thought he was going to be back in the band at some point before they got, uh, I think before Gary Sharon came in. Yes, they and were supposed to. Because yeah, he did an MTV yeah. appearance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. yeah and uh, <laughs> and I kind of remember that. Yeah. And he was acting like such a douchebag on stage. And, <laughs> and, and the the uh, reports were that like the band was embarrassed by him. Oh, yeah. God. They were probably like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, why, that's why we kicked him out. <laughs> when you hook up with that girlfriend from years ago, you're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're crazy. I remember now. Okay. Actually, Beck posted something on Facebook about it because he won, like the award that they yeah. were up there and presenting. He was, he was, yeah, he was acting like a douche behind. Yeah, him. yeah. Beck was he like, "I won this award. It was the first MTV award I've ever won." And. I'm like getting a hug from Eddie Van Halen and and Davey Ross doing some his wacko shit that he normally doing does. splits in the air or something. Probably. <laughs> exactly. <Come on. laughs> so. Have you heard any live clips of David Lee Roth, like from 2019, 2018? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, do we want to? No, I don't think you want to. Not good. I do. It's. I mean, it's that's the one thing. Like I've heard some of the stuff he did solo wise. Now, like when he went solo, did he write any of his own shit or did he just write lyrics and have some, you know, jack off with a guitar, like all over the place. He had, he had Steve Vai in his band. Yeah. Right? Eat him and smile. Was, mm-hmm. I think, yeah. Was he does Vai. play guitar though. He actually he does. On, uh, yeah. On the song, um, on could, be, could this be magic? He's playing rhythm guitar on that song. Huh? I don't, yeah. I just reading that, you know, kind of how the band got together. Of course, you know, Van Halen brothers obviously already had their connection, but uh, yep. I think Dave got became part of the band because he owned a PA. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Something like that. That's usually how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Billy, Billy uh, Sheehan was in his. Um, yeah, Billy Sheehan. Band. Yeah. yeah. Steve so I. Okay. Who was the drummer? The drummer was good Greg too. Bissonette. Yeah, mm-hmm. Greg Bissonette. Yeah. 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 So he had uh, an all star lineup guys with him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he can get whoever he wants. That's obviously what he did. So. Yeah. yeah, and and you got to remember that video from the eighties, the in the in the store. Oh, oh yeah, my, my <laughs> yeah. doctor says I need to take a laxative. Yeah, right. Not advice on you don't. <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember being on the side of a cliff and remember. Yeah, that's later on. Remember from Beavis and Butthead talking about that video? <laughs> no, I look where you can see the bottom of a, of a thingies. <laughs> <laughs> because they had the cutoff shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You can see the bottom of their thingies. Oh yeah, <laughs> and a blaze donut. <laughs> to go, to go, to go, go. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't help my appreciation of Van Halen. He was still in the band when he did that. Work, I think, right? No, no that was no, that, that was his was, first was, solo album. Yeah, I thought that, I thought he did that, that was, while he was still in the band. No, he was out to get them. Uh, that was okay, Eat yeah. and Smile, right? Yeah, Eat and Smile. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that makes more sense. I guess. And then, of course, there was the argument, you know, which album is better, David Lee Roth or Van Halen? Oh, please. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't what was know. the is album? Oh, you 8150 or 5150? 5150. Versus Eat em and Smile. What's on that? There's a bunch of big hits on that album. Dreams, I think, is on that one. Yeah, Dreams is on there. And, What's uh, that song? Oh, you know not, it. Here, yeah, it. you definitely know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's, it's an 80s, God, mon- the 80s. 80s montage. Fucking 80s. What about uh, <laughs> what movie did this end up yeah, in? Exactly, it's only a montage song. <laughs> was yeah, this song's not good. No. What about uh, all the? They had two songs with love in the title. Love walks in, and That's then in the there. one we used to play in, in uh, a track Jones. Oh, that was on OUA. Why can't too, this I be think. love? It was what? It was, on, it was a later album. Uh, that might have been on Fifty One Fifty. Also, is it? Yes, second song. Yep, for unlawful carnal knowledge. Yeah, yep. and then uh, Best of Both Worlds is on that album. Oh. I know. I like that. They, the video was live, which I thought was cool. Because there were so few live videos on MTV back, like actual live recordings, you know? Yeah, I just do feel like. That? Yes, oh, yes, I actually do remember that, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
It wasn't like Bon Jovi where they're on oh. stage. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, was piped actually, in, you know, piped in for the audience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> even as a kid, I knew, I knew they're fake. Real, <laughs> the guitars didn't have chords going into them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I just feel like when Sammy Hayer came in the band, they got l- a lot more light, mm-hmm. like light rock, yeah. li- not more, even heavy metal anymore. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. it was just they went just straight, rock. Nothing from yeah. you know, nothing but keyboards and you know the solos were still there, but the well, the, the main riffs think, were so. I think the keyboard thing was Eddie Van Halen's mm-hmm. what he wanted to do. Yeah, so it and I doubt. Um, Sammy Hagar was gonna disagree. Yeah. Well, there was a story about when. Uh, so, so remember this. So he played guitar, obviously, on the the guitar solo and beat it by Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they called, I think they called Pete Townsend first to play on it. Oh wow! Like, huh. And he's like, I can't solo. What are you calling me for? <laughs> Call like Eddie Van Halen or something. So they did. <laughs> and uh, can't he he's solo? Like, what, what Pete Townsend, I don't know. And Pete, I mean, he's it's, you know yeah. old guy from the '60s. Probably they but... weren't. They weren't. They were looking for a blazing guitar solo. I yeah. Think. yeah, yeah. They that's were looking. That's for... not your guy. <laughs> they were so looking they... for '80s style guitar playing, yeah, not yeah. '60s style. Well, when did Beat It? Beat It came out in like what '85 or something? '83. Like '83, oh, 83, okay. yeah. yeah. So I guess around that time they called him and he's like, "Well, I'm really into the keyboards right now. I don't know if I want to do a guitar solo for you." <laughs> it actually went. It was um, Quincy Quincy Jones. That's his name, right? Yeah, he called him, and and it took him like fifteen minutes to convince him, and it was actually him. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> oh wow! This is not Quincy Jones. I don't know what, who this is. Anyway, well, I heard David Lee Roth heard that solo, and he was kind of mad because he's like, "Why'd you give this to Michael Jackson? You should have saved it for Van Halen. It's so good." Oh, well, it was it was. <laughs> imp- I wonder where he made more money. <laughs> yeah, it was it was improvised. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. It was like two takes, and he was that was it. Yeah, well, that sounds so. about right. Eddie yeah. Van Halen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hmm. Well, crazy. should we grade this thing? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. I'll give it an A. Yeah, I'd give it an A too. Yeah, why not? A. I mean, it's F. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be something. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, Actually. Let's face it. The score from the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I mean, let's face it. I, I did not wasn't aware of this album at all, and uh, it was a real, real pleasure to listen to. For us, this was a bit of a hidden gem. Yeah, we like that. It might be my favorite of an Al- Van Halen album, actually. Yeah, I think this or, or Fair Warning. This Fair makes warning. me want to listen to the first two. You know, the second I, should I mean, it too. Yeah. this is better than the second album, though. I think. But yeah. And yeah. check out Fair Warning too, because that's what yeah, Fair good. Warning's good. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna go listen to some more, but then I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> I've had so much other shit just just kind of landing in my lap <laughs> to listen to lately. So. Yeah, it's weird because I remember liking it. What was but the then last I, minute? But one, then so. I, yeah. Then I also remember, remember just kind of like, well, I just put that away. So maybe it's not that good. <sighs> oh, it's good. <laughs> No, it's, yeah. I mean, let's like face it. it. We were not intending. We had no intention of doing this album, and then, of mm-hmm. course, with you know the the well, demise of, of Eddie. Uh, I think we, we, it was on our list. It was on the list. Yeah, it was, but no, like, okay. it was maybe, but one way or another, yeah. we hadn't initially planned it for this episode, That's true. and then no, that happened. And it wait, this of, episode is this episode. What are you talking yes. about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one way or another. We were planning on this episode. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's face it, we, you know, his death is the reason we're doing yes, you know, this right. album right now. And yeah. uh, it was really a, a nice little like, fuck yeah. I yeah. Know. I mean... It sucks you died, Eddie, but thanks because we got to listen to your album. Yeah. And no, we wouldn't have otherwise. Well, no, no, no surprise, their record sales, whatever you want to call it, yeah. downloads or whatever, went oh, through the roof. I'm sure. Out. I've I've heard that pretty much uh, some of my guitar playing friends online have pretty much stated that you can't, can no longer find a 5150 amp, PV amp anywhere oh, wow. for sale. <laughs> like they just Im- immediately are sold out everywhere. You can't yeah, even yeah. buy them used for a reasonable price. Mm. Call <laughs> the breadcrumbs. This is a hoax. It's not <laughs> All right. Dead. It's a hoax. Oh, not dead. It's a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> QAnon is 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So cool. That's not, I think the average is an A then. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, this good. is this is absolutely it's one of the a few month. A across the board it, that we yeah. Have, right? I, I would I would say yeah. this is absolutely a like this should be owned by people. Yeah. Everyone, yeah everyone should have this one in their mm-hmm. their. Home. I got it. I, do, I don't have the record. I have it. I have the download. <laughs> and they, you've got the mp3s the songs when I, are out of when order i start buying that. records again i will get right. it though yeah. wow that's some good hair man yeah oh yeah look at that idiot on the left you can't see it yeah <laughs> the songs are out top. of order on the back though it's weird that's mm. awesome that's it's because production had nothing to do with the actual creation of the album it's yeah, interesting music. as a guitar let's say uh i, I just uh, God, if I had to be around David Lee Roth for more than ten minutes, I would. Mm. Somebody would be. There would be a newspaper headline, like somebody was dying. Uh, there's no way. He's probably <laughs> always irritating. You just well, wish that, like, look you at know, his he, face. He had God, lived damn. somewhere else, like like three more blocks further away, so that like they had just <laughs> had it. some other random person with a PA that they could have been like, all right, you're the singer, <laughs> and then Ooh, they would have never face. had to have dealt with him. <laughs> And look Ooh. at Alex. He's like, "Come on, man, get the fuck yeah. out of me." Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Gosh. That's not a Stratic. That's not a Stratocaster guitar. It's, it's got a Gibson Ex- Explorer. Explorer, yeah. I think it's a Gibson Explorer. There's a there's an Ibanez model. That's well, like I that. mean, how many look of his, his guitars weren't Frankenstein's? I look at his foot. Why is his foot all the way up there? Because <laughs> he likes to do kicks and pirouettes. <laughs> yeah, he yes. Pirouettes. He well, no, no, no. Time about the question is why is his foot not over his head? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's a more <laughs> hey, valid question. We never we should get into this a little bit before we get off Van Halen. Yeah. The our neighbor Kip. Oh yeah. There was always this thing, like I think part of the reason why Kip the Elder? Is yeah. this gonna be end up like like being like that neighbor in Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> no. What? Not really. Oh. Uh no, no, no. What was his no. name? Stuart. That was, that's yeah. more Christopher, I think. Was was Todd. Oh Todd, no Christopher. Yeah, Todd is Christopher, but Stuart. I think I think he's talking about Stuart. But yeah, no. but different, right? Oh yeah, it's not like Stuart. Well, no. there was always a there Kids was always this kind of now. friendly rival. Well, I don't even know if it was friendly, but it was rivalry. A, it, was a, of, it was a rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> like, who's the better band, Van Halen or Metallica? Basically. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, bitter Kip rivalry. And, <laughs> the, Kip was the, the Van Halen guy. The, the answer to that is pretty simple, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, there's some talent level in Van Halen that is, you know, unmatched to an extent, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Song wise, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, with time, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Take the vocals from, you know, uh, Kill Them All, problems. and that's still better than across the board. <laughs> Either of the two main guys. Let's not even bring up Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that, that 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 plays into a little bit why we were not Van Halen fans. Yeah, it was like we had our neighbor fuck this guy, fuck Van Halen, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you so. know that. Well, there was part of that too with Van Halen because they were not, you know, they like weren't a heavy. No, like, you know, a cool heavy, like for like us. Yeah. Thrash, well, if they were gonna if they were gonna lean, know? there was either glam or thrash, and if they were gonna yeah. they were gonna lean the way a certain way, it would have been more towards glam. And we're like, yeah. nope, yeah, fuck right. you, but yeah. No. Yeah. But they they were not a metal band. They were a hard yeah, rock were, band. Kind of, band. It's kind yeah. of the same with Aerosmith. They they were they went in that yeah. direction in the, mm-hmm. that time period too. Yeah, true. Yeah, but when you go back and listen to like especially the, the both of the bands and their older stuff, you're like, man, oh, they were really fucking good. Oh, Toys yeah. the Attic. Jesus Holy Christ. shit! The old That's Aerosmith a, stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Aerosmith, I don't think was as. I shouldn't say that they had some. They, they had, had some, some cheesy ass videos. Oh god! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I never I never had the <laughs> level of anything off permanent. Yes. Well, I never, I never I love in an that. elevator. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I never had the level of uh, dude looks David like Lee a Roth, lady. Man, he just he just, there's something about that dude. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. just cannot. Like I, I, I like the albums, but there's something about it that is off putting. Aerosmith yeah. has. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to close my eyes. Oof. But oh, that's bullshit. But they didn't write that. They didn't write that. And the person who wrote that song. Said it's a terrible song. <laughs> yeah, and everybody should know. That's a terrible song. It's like it's a woman. She's like, this song is awful, and that's our only number one hit. <laughs> and that movie is probably really stupid too. I never saw it, but oh, what movie is it? Armageddon. Armageddon. Got Ben Affleck in it, so oh, it's, it's very cheesy. Watch Deep we, Impact if you want to watch a. I've I've movie. I've seen I've seen Armageddon, and it yeah. Even the no. creators of that movie flat out were like, wait, 
why would they send miners into space? Why don't they just train the <laughs> the astronauts how to mine? Oh, <laughs> it's Deep Impact was better. <laughs> Enemy mines better than both. Yes, uncle, yeah. uncle, <laughs> uncle, Samish, Samish, <laughs> Samish. All right. Oh, well, Jay-Z's so. Best movie. Uh, how are we getting out of this conversation now? <laughs> Terrible. Where did uh, we end up? It's yeah. late. It's like we three should, in the morning. We should end this. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, we're all very drunk now. So yeah, right. Super. Well, right, we should well, so, we should we should thank Kip though because he did he when he came back from he was in Greece and when he came back he sort of helped nice. introduce us to hard rock and Van Halen was one of those bands he showed from us from Greece. Yeah, he was in Greece with his family and he came back. He he was living in Fox Mule. That's, you know, we were element- in, ele- in elementary school. Then we went into, well, when I went into intermediate, he went off to Greece and came back two years later and he was way into Van Halen. Yeah. And yeah. him and Tim Caperso, our other neighbor, were both, had this, you know, they'd both discovered this music and I hadn't yet. And they both were like, you gotta check out Van Halen and the Scorpions and Iron Maiden and yeah. okay. Metallica. Yeah, right on a few of them. Half. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank so anyway, you, Kip. Thank you, Kip. <laughs> Even though we fought. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. All right. So next episode. Thin Lizzie, talk baby. Thin <laughs> Lizzie. Hang ten, baby. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but in the meantime, um, until then, we're going to go ahead and say adios. Dios mio. Do we have to no. do different languages? <laughs> or Spanish only? <laughs> Biblioteca. Ciao. Hasta. Energy. Energy. Sit. Aggression. Power. To sum what? it up, it's a... Um, vulgar display of power. We say things to people that mean something. I mean, in our own little way. Ricky, quick, will you try to think my puzzles? <laughs> the human element of making music is what's most important. Singing into a microphone and learning to play an instrument, that's the most important thing.